if you don't know about these now, please go find out about them. Find out about them when it comes to yourself. Find out about them when it comes to your partner or potential partner. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Um, please do yourself a favor. Please do me a favor and subscribe. Before we go any further, I just want to say, please excuse my nails. Um, okay, I'm sure like a lot of people don't know. Anyway, I am trying to, to do my own nails. So this was like an experiment. Um, Mm, the thumbs but anyway i think the song worked out better i am so 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 sorry i know i was supposed to drop this video um on saturday actually <laughs> you yeah um i was supposed to upload this video on saturday but unfortunately i could not there was like a whole lot going on and then i tried to do the recording yesterday and <sighs> load shading happened thank you escom so um I'm really, really, really sorry about that. Number two, <laughs> we have gone over a hundred subscribers. Yeah, it's a big deal. It is a big deal, it's especially like considering the fact that it has only been a month. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with the progress. We've gone over a hundred subscribers. Um, I think we're sitting at 130 subscribers. That is awesome. So now it's start. It's, it's it's time to start heading to two hundred subscribers. We can do it, right? We can get to two hundred subscribers by the end of this month, right? Mhm, mm mhm. Mm Cause I believe in y'all. I believe in me. I believe in this channel. I believe it's possible. As you guys can tell from the title and <laughs> the colors I am wearing, um. Today we're going to be talking about love, about relationships, <laughs> um, choosing the right partner to be with. So um, let's hop right into it. If you have your walls up with your partner, nothing bad can come through, but also nothing good can come through, right? Yes. The main purpose of the wall is to block off all bad energies, block off all the pain that could possibly come your way, right? But you are also blocking all the good things that your partner has to offer you. And as you're blocking your partner off, then how are you guys supposed to connect? You cannot connect with someone when you have walls around you. I mean, this is common sense, right? It is common sense. But unfortunately, it is something that a lot of people do. You cannot connect with your partner without allowing yourself to be vulnerable, right? And also creating a space where your partner also feels vulnerable with you. You have to trust each other on that level. You need that kind of understanding for you guys to, 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 to grow together to understand each other, to support each other, to, 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 to help each other in whatever way that, 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 that you can. When you keep your walls up, you are creating distance, right? You are creating resistance, right? Um, how, how are you supposed to maintain or build a relationship like that? So when choosing the right partner, keep in mind that you, this is a person that you are choosing. This is a person you are allowing um, yourself to be vulnerable around. Stop basing your decisions on fear. Stop um, 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 pushing people away when you can clearly see that, first of all, this is the best person for you. We learn from the past. We learn from our previous experiences so we don't make the same mistakes again. Stop making decisions based on the pain of the past. 
that is where this whole thing of being ready to move on comes in heal from your past collect your lessons from your past learn grow as a person yes he or she mistreated you yes things went wrong but you cannot make choices based on fear no base your decisions on hope base them on love base them on life base them on the fact that you know you deserve better base them on the endless possibilities um opportunities good opportunities that new, this new person um that is entering your life gives you if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out you learn and you grow what one painful incident have you gone out of where you did not learn or you did not become stronger because of it and if it does work out then great perfect you see you could have missed out on that you can't make um the future your future suffer because of the past throw it away you do not need it unfortunately carrying a checklist or saying well well having a type right has a high chance of blinding you it has a very high chance of creating unrealistic um, expectations from people it is most probably best to keep away from the type to keep away from the checklist because what you want isn't what you need you may want certain things but because that is not what you need your the universe is not going to give it to you it's not because the universe has a way of giving you who and what you actually need in life. Look at the people that the universe has provided you with. Do you guys share the same values? Do you guys um, have different values? It is okay to have different values um, when it comes to your potential partner you you should not you it's not a must it's not a necessity for you guys to have the exact same values the same beliefs the same opinions and all that you are allowed to differ you may have values that differ right so um pay attention to the values that you share and also pay attention to the values where you guys differ so you know whether you are willing to compromise or not because there are some values that you hold dear to yourself and you know that no matter what i am not going to be with a partner who is going to differ with this right so discuss your values know your values and also discuss your goals discuss your goals do you have similar goals or are your goals just com just completely different? Are you guys on completely different paths? That is also something you should look into when choosing the correct partner. When choosing the right partner, keep in mind that by choosing this particular person, you are giving them the power to change you. This thing of, I am who I am. You can't tell me, Jack. Um, no one and nothing can change me. You either take me as I, as I am or you leave. Attitude is trash. It's nonsense. It belongs in the bin. It is detrimental not only to yourself, but to your partner as well. You cannot be that stubborn when you know that you are entering a relationship. You can't. It doesn't work like that. When you enter a relationship, you are giving your partner the power, the rights, the <laughs> to, to change you. You need to accept that there are a lot of changes that are going to happen within yourself once you are in the relationship. Keep in mind that the changes that are going to be taking place are supposed to be building you, making you a better person person 
not only making you a better person, but also making you a better partner to your partner, right? So these changes are, are, are going to happen. Get rid of that backward um, attitude. It doesn't work when you're in a relationship. So if you're looking to be in a relationship, one that you can sustain, one where um, you are hoping to go long term, be willing to change. Be willing to grow. Be willing to let go of the negative aspects of yourself, of your personality. You are not going to be the same person you entered the relationship as. Please, 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 please be sure that you are ready for commitment. You are not entering this relationship. You are not allowing this person to invest so much time and energy and feelings into you, whereas you are not planning to, to commit to them, to commit to the relationship. You cannot be looking for a partner when you are not ready to commit to the relationship and your partner. Make sure you are ready first. Make sure you are in the right space. Make sure that you understand what you are getting yourself into. Make sure you keep in mind that once you enter a relationship with the person, it's no longer just about how you feel, but rather as well how your partner or your potential partner feels. Before the relationship, yeah, sure. It's on you, right? But once you are in the relationship, remember, it's no longer a one-man thing. It's no longer a, a one-man show or one-woman show. You know, I wasn't, yeah. It's a two-people thing or three or four, depending on the kind of relationship that you are in. Point is, it's not just about your feelings anymore. This is becoming such a cliche, but it deserves all the emphasis that everyone is putting on it. Know your worth. When you know your worth, when you are self-aware, right? Okay, let me start here. When you are self-aware, you know your worth. When you know your worth, you know exactly how much or how little <laughs> you are bringing to the table. So if you know what you're bringing to the table, you will not settle for anything. You will not. You will find someone that is on the same level as you. You're not about to settle because we are not about to disrespect ourselves like that. We are not. So know your worth. Know what you're bringing to the table. So that way, when you are choosing the right person to be with, you know exactly what you are looking for. When you feel like, hey, I am ready for relationship, right? And you go out, you, 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 you present yourself to the world, right? Present yourself as who and what you are, not who and what you would like others to to, to, to see you as. Pre pre present yourself as your true self. There's this video that I watched. Um, I think it was an interview with Oprah Winfrey and I don't know who else. So there was this phrase that was said, right? And it stuck to me. It, 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 it stuck to me because like, what? Wow. <laughs> anyway, um, if you they used colors they used colors as as an example which i think was perfect it was beautiful um if you are a yellow if you are a yellow right present yourself as a yellow and you will attract people that love yellow people that appreciate yellow right but if you are a yellow and you present you when you go out into the world you paint yourself black you paint yourself blue, you paint yourself purple, orange, whichever color that is not yellow, you are going to um, attract people that love whatever color you are presenting yourself as. Black, brown, yellow, um, um, orange, blue, 
purple, whichever one. And is that your true color? No, it is not. Hence, you're going to end up with the wrong partner. Present yourself as the, uh, as the yellow that you are and you will attract people that love and respect and appreciate and are looking for a yellow. There is a person for everyone out there. There's a person. Just because you see a lot of people chasing black doesn't mean that you should go for black now. Stay yellow and someone that wants yellow will come your way. Your partner's upbringing. You need to pay attention. You need to know. You need to ask questions about your partner's upbringing. Because a person's upbringing pl plays a huge role in their adult life. It plays a huge role in how they love. It plays a huge role in how they receive love. It plays a huge role in how they act in life, in relationships, and so on. It plays a huge role. So ask questions about your potential partner's upbringing. <laughs> if, if you don't know about these now, please go find out about them. Find out about them when it comes to yourself. Find out about them when it comes to your partner or potential partner. Love languages are a thing. Love languages are important. You need to know your love language or your love languages. You need to know and understand your partner's love language or love languages. Love languages are a thing. They are a thing. So the sooner you know your own, the sooner you know your potential partners, the better you, the, the better choices you can make. Cause some, some, some of these languages that you they clash, they are like, pum, pum, tum, pum, pum. <laughs> okay, no, they they clash basically. You need to see if you can love your partner or well, potential partner in the way that they would love to be shown love. Can your potential partner? love you in the way that you would love to be shown love look at love languages please they are important they're essential they are there for a reason what is your love language oh <laughs> i love spanish mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i'm sure y'all guys can tell that this is the end of the video thank you thank you thank you so much for watching i hope um that this was pretty informative let me know if you guys would be excited about um the part two in the comment section follow me let's get to know each other let's talk um who knows maybe i might just have like another video based off of our conversations you know and <laughs> I would like to make a shout out to my older brother, Abuti Masilo. Um, he gave me the idea. He suggested that I do this video. Um, I think it was like two weeks ago. So <laughs> here we are, big bro. I did the things. I did the things. Um, so yeah. Thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for all the support that you have shown me so far. Thank you for sharing my links. Thank you. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, big bro. Mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Please, 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 please comment. Please like. Please subscribe. Please share the link to my channel. Share the link to my videos. Just do the most. Plug people. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, this is the time to do so. It's, it's time to do so. Come on, just, yeah, sure. Thank you for subscribing. Till next time, goodbye. Mwah.